and the ability to multitask. Geese has a tendency to overcorrect when he makes a lane change and sometimes finds the visual images confusing. A lot of things going on. And, yeah. and that's hard when it's all coming in at once. Yeah, yeah, real hard. I can, I can keep up with it, but for how long? Trying to keep up, trying to catch up, that now defines his life. So you have to realize that you aren't the same person you are. And then once you start realizing that you aren't the same person, then you can start rebuilding. This former building contractor knows something about starting from scratch. Some days are especially frustrating, like the time he went home to attend his daughter's middle school graduation. I mean, made sure I got there early, I had everything ready, and then I forgot what time it was, what time the graduation was. He was late and he was devastated, but his anger at himself never spills over into anger at the war. No regrets. I'd go back over right now if I was able. Ray Warren is also proud of his service, proud of his Purple Heart, but he questions the war that did this to him. Well, I had a lot of pride <laughs> for my country, and they shipped me to Iraq <laughs> with me, me having no say so. <laughs> oh. So you're not all that happy that you were sent to Iraq? No. <laughs> I mean, look at me now. <laughs> It's in the top part of my, my head. Both men struggle to accept the reality of their situation, as do the families of TBI patients. They have this expectation, oh, they're in a rehabilitation unit. They'll be perfectly fine. They'll be the same as before. And there's no way that they can be, ever be the same as before. Not the same as before. That's a tough prognosis. It's a, uh, a different me <laughs> to... Uh, um, deal with things. They do deal with it, and they do get better. Coming next, hard work and grit push Ray to the edge with a payoff. To see every little thing that he does, I mean, for us, it's a party. I mean, it's just a victory. It's hooray, you know. One week after we first met Raymond Warren at the hospital, he went home to Los Angeles for a visit. The welcome from his family and girlfriend washed over him like a tonic. Just a brighter Raymond, you know, being home, like I said, it's just, it's great for him. It's great. The doctor said it would be a good part of his rehab, you know, to help him in the, in the recovery long term. And we definitely see that. He's been encouraged to pitch in with chores, making salad for dinner, for example. What the hell is it's, that? It's fine. <laughs> Even Raymond recognizes the change. What can you do this week that you couldn't do last week? Do you remember? I'm having a conversation with somebody a lot easier. Yeah. You're actually having conversations and yeah. interacting. And, yeah. Big difference. Yeah. At the same time, he knows he has a long way to go. What's the hardest thing still? <laughs> Taking a shower by myself. Oh, really? Still, his mother remembers what he looked like when he first returned from Iraq. And seeing him for the first time was very, very hard. Yeah. Very hard. That was just three months ago. Now, a simple card game is a measure of enormous progress. Like the cards? He's adding them up, which is with no problem. Yeah, with like, a, like two weeks ago, I wasn't able to do that. To see every little thing that he does, I mean, for us, it's a party. I mean, it's just a victory. It's hooray, you know. Raymond still cannot be left alone, so his mother and girlfriend take turns staying home with him, even though they both have full-time jobs. He can concentrate, you know, on one thing at a time. He's easily distracted, like, by the TV or other things. Um, processing information, you can...